for the monochromatic continuous line portrait, you're going to need to do a little bit of digital editing and printing before you start. Um, so first you're going to want to choose a human or animal, and you're going to need to find a picture that really takes up the entire space. So I'm just going to choose a picture of Frida Kahlo. So I went on Google Images to try to find a photo, and I like this one. So I'm going to right click and save image as. And this is going to show up in my download. So I'm going to rename it Frida Kahlo so I can easily find it. Then you're going to go into Pixlr Editor. There's two different versions of Pixlr. You need to be in Pixlr Editor, Pixlr E. And you're going to open up the image that you just downloaded. So we need to do two things. The first thing is I need to change this into a black and white photo. So I'm going to go up to Adjustments, Auto Black and White. And now I'm going to save this. So File, Save. Um, it's already labeled as Frida Kahlo, so I'm just going to also add black and white. This is going to show up in my downloads. And the second thing that I need to do is I'm going to posterize this so I can see different levels of value. This will help me when I'm planning my monochromatic painting. So again, I'm going up to adjustments and I'm going down to posterize. You can move this out of the way so you can see. You wanna have at least three different values. So when I go to three, I can see that this is my lightest value. And then I have a second lightest value. I've got a light gray and then a dark gray and a black. So I've got one, two, three here. If I go to four, I'm gonna get a little bit more detail. So three is gonna give us, should give us four, a black, a white, and two grays. So this would be your lightest color, this would be your darkest color, and then your in-betweens. So once you're satisfied with doing either three or four posterized levels, click apply. And again, file, save, change this one's name to posterize and download that. Now I'm going to have those two downloads, the black and white and the posterize. And when I print them, I want to make sure that I print them full page. So um, normally when it pops up, you're gonna see, okay, right now that's only <clears throat> small. So I'm gonna meant to make sure that that's a portrait and I could uh, shrink to fit or fill the page or um, change the entire image until you get one that is full size. And if you need a little bit of help with that, I can help you with that as well. Um, it looks like mine's not giving me as many um, options to print, but you're gonna wanna print both your posterized um, image and your black and white image to have for your project.